What is up, YouTube? Faro's here with a very exciting and special video for you all today. I have a special announcement to make, um, but first, let's let's talk our way into that. Let's talk our way into it. So, a couple days ago on my channel, I made a video. It was an update video talking about the new place I just moved into, my plans uh, for the immediate future of my YouTube channel and this year as far as life and games go. I was just I was just chatting with the fans, the old school fans that are still around, and. I mentioned at the end of the video games I was thinking about playing and making videos on. And I just mentioned, I just, just mentioned, among a bunch of other games, I just mentioned Final Fantasy XI, my first MMO, the MMO and the game that I grew up on. The game I turned into a man on. Final Fantasy XI. And the comments went nuts i think half the comments on that video are hey forest wall final fantasy 11 sounds cool dude dude i really missed your final fantasy 11 videos if you play final fantasy 11 again be sure to let us know on what server so we can play with you and i started thinking you know i was already actually playing final fantasy 11 on a private server shout outs to nasomi i'm gonna give you a big shout out here and i was loving it again you know because right now it's not like when I was in high school anymore. It's not like when I was in college anymore. You know, I, I work my 40, 60 hours a week. I'm managing my own business. And after work, I want to come home. Well, I'm already home sometimes, but I, <laughs> I want to just kick back and chill and kick it, man, and have fun on a game. And Final Fantasy XI on that private server has been that game for me. But that private server, it only I was just playing for a week or two. And, man, I got the itch, and then I got the craving, and then that was it. I wanted to hit back up retail. So what did I do? I start watching streamers. I start looking up videos. And then I resub to retail. I am back in Final Fantasy XI right now. As of yesterday, actually. You guys are already a day behind. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, dudes, retail is amazing. There's so much new stuff. That I've only have not been playing a year, year and a half, maybe two years tops. And the game is completely different. There, the EXP is nuts. You're not even going to believe me, okay? I have to just show you. Look at this EXP gain. Alright guys, we're out here in Eastern Saruta Baruta. You're not going to believe this shit. You're not going to believe this. I switched to a level 1 to show you this, okay? I'm summoning my homie Kapipi. All right, little Taru Taru here. She's called a trust. She battles with me. She fucking owns. All right, Kapipi owns. She doesn't even take my EXP. This is a level one B outside of town. All right, I'm killing this. You got. You guys are getting some live combat Final Fantasy 11 2015 action right here. Come on, please it. Yo, we struck true for our first bow shot on camera. Let's get him again. Bah! Look at how much EXP we're about. 320 experience points. What the fuck? Why does it give that much EXP? I've killed one monster and I'm already almost level two with a trust. This, the EXP is out of control, you guys. And you can, I've heard that if you use trust, you can be in a party full of trust. Um, you can have multiple amount of time. You can kill toughs. You can kill very toughs. My buddy Daniel's already getting 1500 EXP a monster. Oh my goodness. On his first character, the EXP is insane. I want you all to just imagine. I want you to imagine what a traditional EXP party would be like. Without trust, with six real players chaining incredibly toughs, the EXP would have to be out of this world. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know if it's actually as great as I'm thinking, but I want to, and that's why I need homies in this link shell with me, because this is going to be nuts. We could probably just blow through zones I mean, as fast as we wanted, and I know I said I want to take my time, but oh my goodness, could we get some EXP. This is looking really nuts. So the EXP is nuts! It's like seven times what it should be, and <laughs> I probably mentioned in the video, but there's little trust NPCs that run around with you, and they don't even seem to hurt your EXP, and they help you kill everything! So you can solo now, like, until who knows when. I, you could probably solo all the way to 99, which is nuts, and I don't really like it, but it's there for people who want to use it, and it's great for casual players. So there's that, and if there wasn't enough, there's quest now. There's a thing called Records of Eminence that you need to unlock right when you start playing, okay? Records of Eminence. Look it up and look where to unlock it in your main city. There's Records of Eminence that give you quests to do everything. Quest to craft. Qu quest to harvest materials. Quest to kill X monsters. Quest to kill X monsters in the zone. To do weapon skills. To do damage. To heal. 
to do everything that there's quest for that give you more exp those quests don't only give you huge amounts of exp but they give you sparks okay so if the increased exp wasn't enough you also have quest exp now and then you get sparks which you can use on this shit check this out you can get gear from these sparks that you get from the quest. Look at this. Equipment 1 to 9. Equipment 10 to 19. 20 to 29. 30 to 39. 40 to 50. 51 to 70. 71 to 9. 99 equipment. Okay. I have 4,000 sparks at this level. The 99 equipment costs like 3,000 sparks. I can already buy a piece of level 99 equipment that has crazy stats on it. This is insane. But for leveling, when I don't have a lot of gill i mean i only have 4,000 gill right now let's say i want to go to the auction house this shit costs too much what do i do i go to this npc i say equipment 10 to 19 i start looking at weapons there's a level 18 sword i can get here that i could use as a thief that has two more damage than my brass siphos i'm buying it right now so when i ding 18 now i have this iron sword to use this is revolutionary so we've got crazy exp we've got sparks that let you get gear so even if you start over and you've got a new character with very little gill you could still get gear from the sparks speaking of starting over all right so i made the decision a couple days ago i'm gonna play retail again i can't help it anymore i want to go back to final fantasy i want to play retail and me and my buddy started talking about it and we both kind of wanted to make new characters and just go with a fresh start because I wanted to make a new character on one of the really popular servers, okay? Asura, mainly, is the server I'm talking about. And Asura, Asura has like a thousand people online at a time. It still has a really active community, has an active auction house from what I've already seen. There's streamers who play on Asura. Asura has the Reddit link shell. Asura seems to be the place to be. So I wanted to make a new character on Asura going back. So what does this mean? What are the implications of this? One... You know, I want to be able to take my time and really enjoy the game. And even though it's a very different game now, with the trust and the increased EXP and the sparks and everything, that's almost why I want to start a new character. I want to experience it from level one up. You know, I want to give Final Fantasy XI a reboot. All right, this is Final Fantasy XI reboot for me and my buddy. And I got to thinking, you know, there's probably a lot of people that want a Final Fantasy XI reboot. There's probably a lot of people that are putting in their time at work or grinding out school. They're saying, man, I just want to have something to play and enjoy when I get home. And a lot of people who love Final Fantasy XI but don't have people to play with. You know, and I did the same thing a couple of years back. I went back to Final Fantasy XI and I started a new Link Shell and I'm going to do the same thing now. So this video is not only announcing... That I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy XI again. That you're going to see Final Fantasy XI content on the YouTube channel and on my live stream again. But there's also a new Link Shell coming up by the name of Kaiten. Alright? On Asura that's already formed. And you can join if you want to join me on this quest. And you don't got to worry about being behind. You don't got to worry about hurrying up to catch up. Because the dude who made the shell just made a new character on Asura yesterday <laughs> so you ain't, you don't gotta worry about you know not having people on your level because i'm right there with you so i wanted to open up this video or open up the invitation to anyone who also wants to play some final fantasy 11 and would be looking for a link shell to join come join me and my buddy and we'll experience the whole game together man from the ground up level 1 to 99 doing all the story we never did uh, you know playing the game in a whole new way with trust and with the uh, the, the quest and things like that that are out now and the new areas the game's been updated every month since I quit so there's all sorts of new content to do there's the big giant storyline that's supposed to have wrapped all the other storylines together that gets finalized November of this year so I'm hyped for that Rhapsody's of Anna deal we could see that together I'm really planning on taking my time and seeing everything in the game I've never seen before. So I've finished Zillart. I've finished Chains of Promethea. But I haven't finished Odd Ergen. I've never finished Wings of the Goddess. I've got really far. But I've never finished it. But I'm going to go back through those storylines. And really take my time and enjoy them. And, and play the game super casually. And for fun. And that's what I want Kaiten, the Link Shell, to be. I want it to be a casual Link Shell. Community driven. Not event driven. Not worried about logging on every Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday night. To grind out whatever the latest thing is. Community driven link shell where 
everyone feels like no matter if you're a brand new player, a returning player making a level 1 character, or if you've got a level 99 on Asura, I want it to be a friendly and welcoming chat that anybody can join and have fun in, sharing their experiences with other kinds of people playing the game. End of story. That's what it is. That's where it ends. A fun chat that everyone can have fun in and hang out in. That's what I want Kai-10 to be. And that's what I'm going to strive for going back into Final Fantasy this time. And that's why I want to announce it to you all in case there's other people like me out there that want to join in on that. Asura, Kaiten Link Shell, hit me up in game. My name's Faros. I'll get you a pearl. But also, there's these Link Shell NPCs now that I think will hand out pearls for me. I'm not even kidding. I found one in game. I, gave, I, I threw some gill at them. They were like, hey, pay up, dude. You're going to have to give me some gill for this. So I gave them some gill, and they'll, they're like, hand it out link pearls for me. Check them out so you know where to find them and what they look like in game. And here we are in Windurst Woods. And here are the two link shell concierge. So all you have to do is find one of these vendors in your respective towns. Talk to them tell me or tell them rather that you would like them to show you the recruiting link shells they open up their little tiny notebook magic notebook of awesomeness and kaiten should be right there on the list and as we put down that we wanted 10 members and it says that there's nine uh pearls left so i imagine someone's already taken one which is awesome because i haven't even shouted out the link shell yet so if we are on the list and if we have it stocked up with link pearls you should be able to pull one from one of these vendors just like that by selecting us on the list and pulling a pearl otherwise you guys can just contact me in game and i will escort you one personally all right so i haven't actually pearl pulled one of those pearls off of those npcs yet since i own the link shell myself i didn't need to but you know what the link shells look like? Or the, sorry, you know what the NPCs look like? They're in each town. I think they're in Winders, Bastok, and Sandoria. I personally started in Winders, as you could probably tell. But um, you should be able to find those in every city. We've put pearls on them in every city. And if you don't find a pearl on one of them, because people have already beat you to it, message me, Falros, in-game on Asura, or message my buddy Cruz. His name will be in the description below. And uh, we'll get you a pearl ourselves. So that's that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to announce that I'm going back to Final Fantasy 11. So I'm doing it on the Asura server under the link shell Kai 10 and you're all more than welcome to join me. I wanted to show you the things I was excited about today. I'm planning on putting out YouTube videos like I said, maybe weekly updates, uh cool little things I'm figuring out about the game here and there. Uh things returning players should know. And then, you know, maybe just posting like funny highlights and my experiences through the game. And I'll check in with you guys every now and then through vlogs. So I'll also probably be streaming the game time to time. So link to my Twitch will be below if you want to follow me there so you don't miss any streams. Thirdly, there is going to be a Kaiten Link Shell Facebook group page that will be linked in the description below. So if you want to join that, uh, feel free to click that link and ask for approval and I'll get you in the page. Just let me know who you are in game. And I'll approve you just like that. So that'll be a place where we can all hang out and chat um, when we're not logged on in game. I've talked long enough. That's all that needs to be said. I'll be talking to you guys soon in Final Fantasy XI videos and related vlogs. And we'll go from there. I hope you guys are excited as I am. And I'll talk to you later. All right. Until then, you guys take care. Peace out.